hello guys and welcome to another premiere pro tutorial in this video i'm going to show you how to create a crop feather transition effect in premiere pro and the truth is that these effects are really easy to create all right these are the clips that we are going to be working with and let's show you how to create this cool transition okay let's say you have this first clip over here and you want to transition into this second clip over here so the first thing you need to do is to actually drag this second clip on top of your first video clip now go over to the effects library and search for the crop effect and place this crop effect on your second clip over here now move over to your effects control and this is how it works if you drag any of these crop parameters over here let's say you drag the left parameter or you drag the top or you drag the right or you drag the bottom parameter you will see that it starts to crop that image based on whatever parameters you have selected so when the video is at zero it means that it's the entire video but when we increase the crop to 100 you can see that we're taking out that video completely now since this is our top image let's start by moving our play here to the position where we want this crop effect to begin let's start by dragging the left cropping effect over here to 100 and this will delete out the entire image that we want to transition into as you can see over here now you can add a keyframe next to the left parameter over here and move five frames forward by hitting the right arrow five times one two three four five or you can simply hold down shift and the right arrow and it's going to move five keyframes now move back to this left parameter over here and reduce the value back to zero to reveal that video once more now if we play back this video you will notice that we've created a simple transition over there as you can see it's quickly cropped so let's make it more dynamic so let's zoom in over here select the first keyframe over here right click and hit is out select the second keyframe right click and hit is in and if we play this back now it's even better but another thing you need to do is to go back further in time and select this arrow here to reveal the parameters of this crop effect if you select this point over here, you can simply adjust these keyframes closer to each other and it's going to create a better downward curve, making this effect smoother. Go down to the edge feathers and increase the edge feather from 0 to somewhere between 100 and 150. And if you go back now and hit play, you can see what we have created. I kind of think this looks too fast, so I'm just going to select this keyframe and move it a little bit further in time. And if you go back now and hit play, you can see what we have created over there. Okay, now for another example, let's say we want to transition from this video clip onto this other clip over here. So what I'm going to do is to place this other clip beneath this first clip over here and select this first clip over here and scroll down to the point where I want this transition effect to occur. Let me close this left parameter over here. Let's say I want it to crop out both the left and the right parameter from this position over here so i'm going to select the position where i want the effect to begin and at this position i'm going to select this diamond icon over here to add my first keyframe to the left parameter and i'm going to select my stopwatch right next to the right parameter over here to add another keyframe now i'm going to move further in time to the position where i want the animation to end so what i'm going to do here is i'm going to increase the value of the left parameter to 51 all right guys so I noticed that the edge feather is still up in this clip over here so what i'm going to do is to come back to this first keyframe by selecting this arrow over here and at this position i'm going to probably add keyframes to this edge parameter over here and move forward and make it back to zero because i don't want it appearing on my next transition just yet so i'll use this right arrow to move to the next keyframe over here so what i have basically trying not to confuse you is i have the left keyframes here which are both at zero so i'm moving to the next keyframe here and i'm going to increase the value to 51 which is going to crop out half of that video and i'm going to go to the right parameter and also increase it to 51 to also crop out the right so if i move back in time you can see this simple transition that we have created over here so to make this further smooth select your first two keyframes over here right click and hit is out select your second keyframes over here right click and hit is in another thing you need to do once more is to increase the bed up to somewhere between 100 to 150 make sure it starts at this first keyframe over here and select this arrow next to the right parameter and the one next to the left parameter and what you need to do is to select this box over here and you can pull these keyframes closer to make it more curved let me zoom in so you can see it clearer the more i pull this box closer it's going to become more smoother so if i move back now you can see that subtle transition effect that we have created and that's it guys on how to create this 
crop feather transition effect in Premiere Pro. I hope you found this tutorial very useful. If you did, kindly give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you and see you guys in my next video tomorrow.